Hi, I'm Rob from BNH, and all the music in that synth pop sketch you just heard was done with virtual instruments from Arturia's flagship bundle, Virtual Collection 4. Arturia makes some of the finest simulated analog synthesizers in the business, and VC4 is a tremendous value, giving you 13 virtual instruments in one package that costs less than most single hardware synths on the market. And while they can't completely replicate all the nuances of the original analog gear they're based on, Arturia's true analog analog emulation engine sounds terrific, and these virtual synths fit quite nicely on your Mac or PC, making them a nice portable solution that doesn't take up an entire room. In fact, the number of plugins and their extensive features means we don't have time to cover them all in detail. Instead, we're going to take a look at how I used Arturia synths in that opening demo, and we'll look at a couple more demos I put together with sounds generated exclusively with Arturia plugins to give you some idea of what you can do with them. I ran them in Logic Pro X, but Arturia's plugins will run in just about any DAW that supports VST, audio units, or AAX, and they can also run in standalone mode. So let's take a look at that sketch. The drums are from Arturia's Spark 2 virtual drum machine. Spark features a hardware controller if you purchase it by itself, but the sound engine runs from your computer and is included in VC4. The patterns in the kit came from the Detroit preset, and I just dragged those MIDI files right into my arrangement. I supplemented the crash with a nice little noise blast from the Jupiter 8 for more impact. The melody line is two synths. I started with the Jupiter 8, and then I doubled it with the Oberheim SEM. The mid-range synth is also two sounds layered. First, the Analog Lab plug-in. Analog Lab gives you over 5,000 sounds generated from various Arturia virtuals with simple editing controls for quick tweaks. Now, since all those synths are included in VC4, you can do in-depth tweaking on the full plug-in as well, which in this case is the Mini. That line is doubled with another instance of the Mini to give the line a little more oomph. The bass that comes in at bar 3 is the ARP 2600 V2. After the break, a Wurlitzer line comes in. Then a simple arpeggio from the Matrix 12, which is one of Arturia's newer virtuals, and I'm automating the filter frequency on voice 1 to give the sound a little movement. And of course, it's very easy to automate just about any parameter on Arturia plugins. The last sound added is the CS80 doubling the Wurlitzer line. There's not really much else going on. Almost all the effects are from the synths themselves, with some limiting on the stereo bus. And that's 10 virtual instruments going at once, and I still have plenty of CPU power left on my late 2013 2.6 GHz Intel Core i7 MacBook Pro. Let's hear the full demo again. It's worth noting that Spark isn't just drum sounds, but features a lot of sampled chords and synth tones. In fact, for a lot of tracks, you won't really need much more. I'm going to play you a brief groove that uses only three Arturia plugins. Some tones from the Modular's sequencer. A little arpeggio part from the Matrix 12. Spark, though, is doing the heavy lifting, playing both the drums and the synth tone that gets more prominent in the break. Also during the break, I'm automating the clock speed on the Matrix 12's LFO, speeding it up for a little additional drama. Let's hear them all together. So let's check out an ambient sketch and look at some of the Arturia plugins I used to create it. The core of it is the virtual Moog Modular playing a factory patch called Ambient Seek that includes an arpeggiating synth and some percussion sounds.
Those arpeggiator chords are doubled by the Selena string synth doing a very Pink Floyd sounding patch. An additional high string line comes from the Jupiter 8. The fuzzy bass comes from the Oberheim SEM. The synth horn part is done with the Prophet. Let's hear the whole ambient sketch. Before we wrap it up, I was having so much fun with Arturi's Virtual Collection 4 that I threw one more little synth pop sketch together. The Jupiter 8 does the melody again. Spark is doing the drums. The Prophet is handling bass duties. The pad is the Matrix 12. And toward the end, the mini plays a bouncy synth riff. Let's hear the whole thing. So there's a couple of little examples of how Arturia's virtual synths can be combined and layered to create tracks. With 13 instruments, thousands of presets, and incredibly deep editing possibilities, including step sequencers, arpeggiators, effects, modulation, and much more, Arturia's Virtual Collection 4 is a truly inspiring and cost-effective set of plugins for music makers. I'm Rob from BH, and thanks for watching. Whether you're a hobbyist or a professional, BH has the answers to your questions. Experience a world of technology at our New York City Superstore. Connect with us online or give us a call. Our staff of experts is happy to help.